Hello friends, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I am very happy you are watching this video. I am Dr. Arpana and I share with you some health tips. Along with that, we also talk about some diseases, how to manage with the symptoms and what can be the possible homeopathic approach in each and every case. So today we will talk about air pollution. Now before I start with the topic, I would like to say if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so that whenever I am publishing some video or I am live, I am doing live consultations, you can join me and ask me your questions live. So let's get started. Today we will talk about air pollution. Now the atmosphere these days is teeming up with all kind of poisonous gases like sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, carbon monoxide, all kind of vehicular emissions like ethylene, trichloroethylene, benzene. So all these gases have a very very bad effect on our health, especially on the respiratory disorders like asthma, bronchitis and kids are more affected from all this. While we can do very little about the atmospheric pollution, but we surely can follow some steps, some ways to enhance our health. So today let us know what are all those steps that we can follow and ensure that we are healthy. So first let us talk about the organs that are affected. Now when we are going out, we are going out in the pollution. So the organs that are mostly affected are the eyes, the skin and the most important organ is the lungs. So first let us learn what or how can we protect the organs. So first of all whenever you are going out, you are going out in pollution, always try to wear some protective sunglasses, some eyeglasses which can protect your eyes from the fumes, from the toxic elements from the gases and whenever you come home just wash your eyes thoroughly rinse your eyes thoroughly with cold water and after that you can uh, take a cotton swab dip it in some rose water put it over your eyes that will give you uh, relax your eyes relax the eye muscles and that will act as a, a soothing effect in your eyes you can also put some cucumber slices over your eyes and relax now if the lacrimation, the itching, the redness of the eye persists and you are having some kind of irritation then you can use some eye drops, some homeopathic eye drops like euphrasia or cinerea. They uh, will also uh, help in uh, protecting your eyes and they will also help in relieving the itching, the irritation, the lacrimation, the redness of the eye. Now I will write the name of the medicine in the description box as well and the dosage also you have to take 1 to 2 drops per eye 3 to 4 times a day depending upon your symptoms. So next is the skin. Now because the skin is also being exposed to all this kind of toxic fumes and the gases and the uh, particulate matter, the skin and the skin pores they get clogged up with all this uh, matter. So what you can do, whenever you are uh, coming back, then you must ensure that you are cleaning your skin properly. So the key to taking care of your skin is cleaning, exfoliating and then using any mild moisturizer. So make sure you are cleaning your uh, face, your skin, all the exposed parts thoroughly with water and some mild soap or maybe some aloe vera gel and then uh, you must exfoliate your skin as well maybe twice or thrice in a week and as far as possible use all kind of natural or herbal ingredients. After that you can just apply some cream and just relax. Now we will talk about the most important organ of our body which is affected by this pollution and that is the lungs. As you know that because of the pollution the respiratory disorders are also increasing and we can see this uh, increasing number of patients with respiratory disorders and even children are they, uh, they are also very badly affected from this. So now how or what all we can do to make sure that um, the lungs are cleaned or they are cleaned out of the uh, toxic fumes that we are inhaling or the particulate matter that we are inhaling. Uh, 
these particulate matter which are suspended in the atmosphere, they are very, very minute. They are about one tenth the diameter of a human hair. So, you can imagine that we really cannot see them with the naked eye and we really do not know what all we are inhaling inside. So, how can we clean our lungs from all these toxic elements? So, the first thing is including good or jaggery into your diet. Now, good or jaggery is very, very important in, uh, it plays a very important role in cleaning the lungs. Coal miners used to take these, uh, they take this good because good has the property to uh, absorb the coal particles from the lungs and uh, flush it out from the body. So, we must include good or jaggery in our diet. Second is you can have tulsi and ginger tea that will also help you. Then is having turmeric water. You need to uh, boil turmeric in water and then uh, add some honey to it and drink it. That will also help you. Then uh, you can make a decoctation with peepali which is known as long pepper. Along with that take some crushed ginger and turmeric, boil this water and then strain it, add 1 teaspoon of honey and drink this water. This will also have a cleaning effect for the lungs. Next we need to boost our immunity and to boost our immunity all kind of food which is rich in vitamin C is very good. So you must include citrus fruits into your diet like oranges, lemon, gooseberry which is a uh, which is a natural source <coughs> sorry which is a natural source of vitamin c so you can include uh, you can include all these foods into your diet they will help you they will build up your immunity and they will also help you to fight against the diseases so uh, what other things you can do you can lit camphor in your house because camphor uh, also has a has the property to eliminate the toxic gases from the air what other things we can do well we can keep some plants which are very very beneficial in uh, cutting down these toxic gases from the atmosphere now what are those plants they are basil that is the tulsi or the holy basil then arica palm the other plants are aloe vera, peace lilies, then ficus elastica, spider plant, snake plant, ivy plant. Now I will write all these plants in the description box as well and uh, I would request you all that you must keep at least 3 to 4 of the plants that I have mentioned and do all the ways that I have already said to increase your immunity, to save yourself from the pollution and to safeguard your health. I hope you like the video so do share it with your family and friends and do like it and do not forget to subscribe my channel and at the same time hit on the bell icon so that you are always notified whenever I am publishing any video or whenever I am live and doing live consultations. So friends like I always say keep smiling, be happy and be healthy. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.